Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a target line. Alright, so we have this sales record and this is our target line here. What we want to show here, so we're going to create a private table. Alright, so we have other ID, the sales person, so we're going to show sales by Essence, then region, prototype, channels, and then we are going to create a target line for each one of them to see which product or which region, which person, which prototype or which sales channel is doing is meeting up with our target or not. All right, so let's create a private table. Go to insert private table. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, let's see by sales person, then sales as values. So we have this. Okay, so because I want to create a target line, I won't be able to use this with pivot table directly. So what I'm going to do in SS is to, so in essence, I'm going to create a dynamic table here. So I'm going to say sales person. Right, then I'm going to link this up. Okay. Then I'm going to draw this down and do the same. Yeah, so this is linked to the then I'm going to post target here. Okay, then I'm going to link the target, which is for salesperson for a key. Right? I'm going to make passage reference. Okay, then I'm going to draw this down. Right, so I like this too. Let's format this. Right, so let's make this. So let's put some blue color here. And let's make this white. Okay. Again, so we have this. Simply, okay, let's, let's remove grid lines right so we have this then I like this create a chat insert go to chat create a part let's create a cluster chat okay so this is okay Let's format this real quickly. Put up here. I want this line. I want line gone. So let's do this here. Okay, so let's come out this quickly. Do we need to remove this? So it depends on what we want. So I'm not going to remove this. I'm going to display in millions. Right. So draw this close. Let's move this up. Again, so this is our Target, I'm going to change this to a line. So before we do that, let's reduce the gap. 
right? So let's change chat, click on this, then go to your chat type. This, I'm going to make this a line, right? Then I'm going to make this super blue color. Then I don't want the border. So I want this deep. So I don't want the border line. Then the line. So let's put this here. So here I can do fill. Let's put this one to be orange. Then let's make text. So let's go to format. Let's make the text to be white. This is very big. Okay, so we can just limit this. So let's say 12. So 11 is fine. Right, so we have our sales. We can do sales by person. Yeah, let's say sales person, let's say sales by person. Alright, so this looks nice. Then you can decide to let's put a better one because so that doesn't look, it looks small. So let's put a better line. Okay. The better line should be that gray and something that's small. Alright, so we have this. Again, we're going to repeat the same process for every other thing that we have there. Alright, again, so let's repeat the same process. So this is this John, I see that the targets, then Linda, I see that the targets, then or as the target as well, why Victor is below the target. Okay, so this is sharing one one, which is a bit confusing. We need to format this as this. Let's make it thousand, not millions. Or probably not to round up. So thousand we just do. Alright, so thousand is better. So sales by person and target. So yeah, we just do sales by sales people and targets. So yeah, we compare with targets. So just link this to two. Yeah. So we have this. So this is better. But this is a bit bigger, so you can just make it smaller. Let's say it. Okay, we should have set it above the bottom. Okay, right, so. Let's create the Batka version of this. To create this Batka version, I wanted to highlight all the cells. 
cells that we have the start that here okay then i want you to press ctrl c to copy go to home then go to paste right you need to use this as a linked picture then click on this so i want you to drag okay so drag now that you have dragged so this is there is this icon at the top Okay, so let's drag this a bit so you can see it. So this drag and then change this direction to be vertical. So this picture is linked to this. So whatever editing you want to do, you have to edit here and to reflect here. Right? Okay, so for me, I need to... Okay, so let's just trim this to make it look um, proper. Okay, so sales type here shouldn't be in this direction so i'm just going to completely remove this okay so this is going right um okay so i'm going to completely remove this okay then push this a bit right so i have this let's push this downward So I think this looks okay. Yeah? All right, so yeah, so we have these thousands. Depend if I want to write a small description, let us delete that. Because we don't have much bars, so it looks a bit kind of big, but you can reduce the, the, the bar depending on what you want. Let's say for my series, you can reduce the gap to be. Okay, shrink it a bit. So, depending on what you want. Okay. Let's say. Okay, then decide to make it bigger, whichever one you want, right. Okay, so that is this is how you make this kind of chart. And again, so you can decide to write, just write a small title, then quote the number as in thousand, that will suffice. Anyways, so this is how you make a vertical version of this. So you can easily do the same for the likes, um, for the rest of the chat that we have on this video. Thank you so much guys, I see you in the next video.